the essays of Francis Bacon are written in a wide range of styles. From the plain and unadorned to the epigrammatic. They cover topics drawn from both public and private life. And in each case the essays cover their topics systematically from a number of different angles. Weighing one argument against another. While the original edition included 10 essays, a much enlarged second edition appeared in 1612 with 38. Another. Under the title Essays or Councils. Civil and Moral was published in 1625. With 58 essays. Of youth and age. A man that is young in years may be old in hours. If he have lost no time, but that happeneth rarely. Generally. Youth is like the first cogitations. Not so wise as the second. For there is a youth in thoughts as well as in ages. And yet the invention of young men is more lively than that of old and imaginations stream into their minds better, and, as it were, more divinely. Natures that have much heat, and great and violent desires and perturbations, are not ripe for action till they have passed the meridian of their years, as it was with Julius Caesar and Septimius Severus, of the latter of whom it is said, Juventutum magit, Erebus, Emo Furoribus Plenum, and yet he was the ablest emperor, almost, of all the list. But reposed natures may do well in youth. As it is seen in Augustus Caesar, Cosmus Duke of Florence, Gaston de Foua, and others. On the other side, heat and vivacity in age is an excellent composition for business. Young men are fitter to invent, than to judge. Fitter for execution than for counsel, and fitter for new projects than for settled business for the experience of age, in things that fall within the compass of it, directed them, but in new things abusing them. The errors of young men are the ruin of business, but the errors of aged men amount but to this, that more might have been done, or sooner. Young men, in the conduct and manage of actions, embrace more than they can hold, stir more than they can quiet, fly to the end, without consideration of the means and degrees, Pursue some few principles which they have chanced upon absurdly. Care not to innovate, which draws unknown inconveniences. Use extreme remedies at first, and that, which doubly all errors, will not acknowledge or retract them. Like an unruly horse, that will neither stop nor turn. Men of age object too much, consult too long, adventure too little. Repent too soon and seldom drive business home to the full period, but content themselves with the mediocrity of success. Certainly it is good to compound employments of both, for that will be good for the present, because the virtues of either age may correct the defects of both, and good for succession. That young men may be learners, while men in age are actors. And, lastly, good for external accidents, because authority followeth old men and favor and popularity youth. But, for the moral part, perhaps, youth will have the preeminence, as age hath for the politic. A certain ribbon upon the text. Your young men shall see visions. And your old men shall dream dreams. Infer it that young men are admitted nearer to God than old. Because vision is a clearer revelation than our dream. And, certainly, the more a man drinketh of the world. The more it intoxicateth, and age doth profit rather in the powers of understanding, than in the virtues of the will and affections. There be some have an over early ripeness in their years, which fadeth betimes. These are, first, such as have brittle wits, the edge whereof is soon turned, such as was Hermogenes the rhetorician, whose books are exceeding subtle, who afterwards waxed stupid. A second sort is of those that have some natural dispositions, which have better grace in youth than in age, such as is a fluent and luxuriant speech, which becomes youth well, but not age, so Tali saith of Hortensius. Idem manibat, neque idem decibat. The third is of such as take too high a strain at the first, and are magnanimous more than tract of years can uphold. As with Scipio Africanus, of whom Livy saith in effect. Ultima primus sedebunt. End of the essay. Thank you.